Hi, we're at Kudu Akseptiak, or Pharmacy Bar. It's a Regan, your pocket favorite. Let's go inside and take a look. So we're here with uh, Kristaps Kreslinch, he's the owner of the pharmacy bar. Hello. And uh, this is actually his second bar. His first bar is in Washington, D.C. called the Pharmacy Bar. It's also the Pharmacy Bar. <laughs> yeah. And uh, which is, that's been a huge success for over 10 years, 13, 13 years? Almost 13. Almost 13 years now. And uh, okay, so why Pharmacy Bar in Riga? Oh, uh, why did you open here and, and, and how, how was it opening here? Is it well, tough? Both my uh, folks are uh, Latvians and uh, they um, taught me everything about Latvian, Latvian since I was born and always had this intrigue with this place and uh, to the point where my brother and I um, had um, a Latvian punk rock band and uh, Lati dice on asses. we came here on tour four times and um, I just met a bunch of phenomenal people here and um, a lot of musicians and um, they just became really close friends and I realized that the world is too uh, too big to stay in one place for the whole life. Even though the bar in DC is doing awesome, uh, just to shake it up a little bit and uh, take my family over here and try to live in Europe for a little while. And um, it was definitely an interesting road the first year. I just had my one year anniversary this Sunday. And, um, but I think the bar is going to turn out to be a success. We've got all the right people coming here. Who are the right people? The right people? Well, my book, it's, it's very similar to the bar in DC. Um, uh, a lot of musicians, a lot of artists, a lot of people that work in graphic design and advertising agencies. And, Bunch of just creative folks, and um, and I just think they really value this place. And uh, they like the jukebox. They uh, I don't know. They um, I have shows here, and I support a lot of Latvian uh, underground bands. And um, when can you see those concerts? Um, they usually they're usually on Sundays. Uh, two or three times a month. Um, they're getting more because it's turned out that. People are really digging it, and um, more people are asking to play here than I have the time, so I'm just uh, adding more dates. Well, that's good. Yeah. So what's the best time to come to the pharmacy uh, bar? This place doesn't really get moving until like about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, if you just want to come and just chill out, have a sandwich and a beer and talk with your friends, yeah. we can blow open from four. But it's kind of quiet, you know, mellow. But at least you can put whatever you want in the jukebox. Yeah, exactly. No competition. Because Friday night at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can never hear those songs. <laughs> I mean, I would love for you to hear them, but... <laughs> okay, well, the pharmacy bar is definitely a rig in your pocket favorite, so definitely come down and visit. Thanks a lot. See you soon. One of the things I like best about this bar is the old school jukebox. It's got everything in here from Johnny Cash to Rammstein to Pixies, whatever. It's excellent.